Now, from CBS 6, the Weather Authority, meteorologist Francis Payton. Okay, at least we're dealing with sunshine for this afternoon, so that's the good news with this forecast, but... Let me tell you, it is chilly out here. You're looking at current temperatures in the Richmond area sitting at 44 degrees. We have a lot of dry air in place, which is why we have uh, temperatures feeling even cooler out here. You're looking at dew points in the teens and your winds moving in from the northwest about 17 miles per hour. Winds will connect, continue to stay strong throughout the afternoon hours, anywhere from 10 to even 20 miles per hour as we have that ridge of high pressure building back into the area. Looking at barometric pressure right now, sitting at 30.16. That is remarkably higher than yesterday where your barometric pressure was staying around 29.8. Uh, but here's what it actually feels like out here. It feels like we're in the mid 30s at this noon hour, despite actual temperatures in the mid 40s. So that temperature reading, what you see at your house, expected to feel about 10 degrees cooler than what it actually is reading. Uh, also, with that uh, chill factor that we're dealing with today, that's coming from your wind gusts. Max wind gusts have already peaked near about 20 to even 25 miles per hour. We'll continue to deal with strong wind gusts throughout the afternoon as well as the evening hours. These winds don't really let up until later tonight, but here you have your current wind gusts clocking in at around 18 to even 25 miles per hour. So we're still dealing with some strong wind gusts. High temperatures today are going to stay around the mid to upper 40s, but again, it's expected to feel like the mid to upper 30s when you leave uh, your house today. Tonight is going to be another chilly night. Overnight lows are going to cool down into the 20s once again. And we're going to maintain those beautiful clear skies with, of course, the next couple of days. And that's due to this ridge of high pressure continuing to build within the area. So this ridge of high pressure builds. That's actually some good news for us because we're looking at temperatures lightly increasing as we get closer to your Thanksgiving holiday. But one thing that's really fascinating, yesterday's cold front is going to actually impact all of us. We're all dealing with some strong winds on the East Coast, but we're actually seeing some lake effect snow near Buffalo and near Syracuse. So quite impressive coming off the Great Lakes. As for us, our week remains fairly dry until Friday. That's your next chance of seeing any rainfall throughout the area. We're tracking a strong cold front and it's going to be strong enough. We're looking at some showers throughout the day on Friday, but the Blue Ridge, excuse me, the Appalachian Mountains could likely see a, some snow, uh, excuse me, some snow showers Friday afternoon. So that's pretty exciting for them. We're just going to be dealing with some morning rain showers and then we're going to dry out for the weekend.